The Witch Next Door Story and Pictures by Norman Bridwell There is a witch living on our street. Do you know how I can tell? It's nothing you would notice the first time you saw her. It isn't the way she says hello. Maybe it's the way she does her shopping. You might know then. I thought she was a witch the very day she moved in. And I was sure of it when she painted her house. Black isn't my favorite color, but after all, it's her house. You might notice her washing on Monday mornings. Or you might be surprised when she takes her pets for a walk. She's a good neighbor. She keeps her house very neat. If someone is sick, she sends them cookies and hot soup. When you have a kite up a tree, she's always ready to lend a hand. And if you don't have a kite, she takes care of that too. She's a wonderful neighbor. Oh, she does cast a few spells now and then, but they don't hurt anybody. And she's very quiet. She goes to sleep at 8 o'clock every night. Except once in a while when her friends come to a cookout. She's very good to us. She showed us the bat bath in her yard. We had so much fun with our witch. And then, one day, we were at her house having tea and cookies. There was a knock at the door. It was the people next door. They didn't look very happy. You had better move, they said. We don't want witches in our neighborhood. Well, our witch got very angry. I'd never seen her like that before. We were angry too. So, our witch cast a spell on them. It was terrible. I couldn't look. She changed them into a handsome young prince and princess. Of course they forgot about asking our witch to leave. I asked the witch to change us into a beautiful prince and princess. But she said no. She said, Good boys and girls are more beautiful than princes and princesses. <laughs>